Substitute teacher Madeline Marks was involved with two 11th grade students. Madeline Marks sent nude pictures to a student via Snapchat, according to her arrest warrant. Reuters. Ruvik, a substitute teacher at an Ohio high school, told detectives that she performed oral with one student and had intercourse with another, police say. She also confessed to sending nude pictures through social media to a student, according to a warrant for her arrest. Madeline Marks, 23, faces two charges of UAL battery. She worked as a substitute teacher at Fairmont High School in Kettering, Ohio, according to police records. Teachers are entrusted with the responsibility of educating children who are becoming young adults, Montgomery County Prosecutor Matt Heck Jr. said in a statement to the Dayton Daily News. This defendant took advantage of her position and developed a UAL relationship with minor students. Online court records do not indicate whether Marks has an attorney, and courts were closed for Veterans Day. Kettering City School District Superintendent Scott Inskeep said a student or students alerted school officials to allegations of Mark's inappropriate actions. An investigation began immediately, Inskeep said. On Wednesday, police detectives went to Fairmont High School to investigate a report of two minor students having UAL contact with a substitute teacher, according to the warrant. By early afternoon, the authorities had enough evidence to arrest Mark's, police spokesman John Young said. Marx was formally charged Thursday, he said. An 11th grade student told detectives that Marx performed oral on him in July in a commercial parking lot. Another 11th grade student said he had with Marx in September in an apartment building parking lot. During Marx's interview with detectives, she admitted to having oral with a student and added that she sent several nude pictures through Snapchat and Instagram to that student. She also admitted to having intercourse with the other student, the warrant states. Detectives arrested Marks at the end of her interview, and the Dayton Daily News reported that she was physically removed from the school. The names of the victims are redacted from the police report because they are minors. The case will be presented to a grand jury, the Daily News reported. Court records indicate that Marks could be released on her own recognizance, with instructions that she must reside with father at his residence while case is pending. Marks began working a substitute teacher last school year, and Inskeep, the superintendent, said there had not been any previous problems with her. There were no signs or anything that we knew about that would have caused us to be concerned, Inskeep said. Online education records show that Marks was issued a four-year teaching license in June 2016 to teach kindergarten through 12th grade. The Daily News obtained personnel records for Marks and reported that she wrote in her application that she was passionate about children and their education. She described herself as a hard worker and mentioned working with special needs children since high school, the newspaper said. The Washington Post reuse content We use cookies to enhance your visit to our site and to bring you advertisements that might interest you. Read our privacy and cookie policies to find out more.